The mapping of the human genome has really provided a unique opportunity in our lifetime. We now have the tools and ability to look at biology in a way we never have before. CardioDx's vision and mission is to take that new technology and apply it to clinically useful diagnostic tests. The simple blood draw that's done at the same time they're already seeing their physician, they can have very quick results within 72 hours. We provide a score and a probability that this patient has obstructive coronary disease. It's a unique test in that no other blood test that uh, will give us that kind of information. I'm able to uh, assure myself and the patient that their origin of their chest pain uh, is highly or not at all likely to be cardiac in origin. has actually dramatically changed the way that I practice in, in, in my clinical setting. It can be very reassuring to you as a clinician, especially if you felt that their pretest likelihood of having a severe coronary disease is very, very low, because as the, the lower the score, the higher the negative predictive value. One of the things we've heard from patients is they very much like the safety and convenience of the core CAD product. Compared to imaging, core CAD has two important differences. First, there's no radiation dosing. Second, there's no imaging agent required, which can cause problems for many patients. One particular patient comes to mind who was uh, getting ready to leave on, on vacation. His course test came back extremely high. He actually delayed his, his trip so he could get in to see cardiology and, uh, and went through a workup and did have uh, stents placed as a result of, of his delay. Uh, he was very relieved not to have gone on his vacation. Well, the stress test was really fairly normal. The chorus test, it was quite, quite surprising to find. Um, the percentage of potential blockage. My dad's the type of person that if, if he knows something needs to be done, he's going to do it. And so I think he was quite excited to have this path of, of choices and things to do. He was quite excited to be a part of something that was so so cutting edge. One of the most important and novel features of CORE CAD is its gender specificity. CORE CAD takes into account the differences in disease likelihood and presentation for men and for women. And so this last several months, it's gotten worse. I have had a hard time breathing. I came in to see Dr. Turner. Before he did anything else, he wanted to do this heart blood test. I came back two weeks later and that's when he said the test was, was good and so he would pursue other things. The Core CAD Patient Sample Kit is an all-in-one solution that provides everything the clinician needs to draw the blood and ship the blood to CardioDX for processing. This allows the Core CAD test to be done anywhere, anytime. Once we receive the sample at CardioDX, the RNA, which measures the expression of the genes or reflects the genes' activities, are then extracted out of the blood cells using a very reproducible automated system that we developed at CardioDX. That purified RNA is then amplified and we then get the measurements of the gene expression levels. Gene expression testing compared to genetic testing is different in a very fundamental way. Genetics are actually giving you information about the likelihood or the predisposition to a given disease state at some point in the future. Gene expression testing is about the expression of your genes at this point in time, giving information about your current disease status today. This was developed and validated using a multi-center, prospective, rigorous trial in the United States called PREDICT. The primary endpoint was the likelihood of having obstructive coronary disease or not. And that is based on the higher your score, the more likely you are to have disease. In 2010, the New England Journal of Medicine published a paper that had studied approximately 400,000 patients in the United States who had gone to the cath lab with stable chest pain to assess whether or not they had obstructive coronary artery disease. In fact, the vast majority of patients who fit this profile did not have obstructive coronary disease at catheterization. In the COMPASS study, we were able to show in the low-risk intended use patient population that the core CAD test had a high sensitivity of 89% and negative predictive value of 96%. This makes the test a very useful tool to help clinicians rule out obstructive coronary artery disease in their patients. The impact clinical utility studies demonstrated that clinicians significantly modified their diagnostic strategy in 58% of patients.
One of the things that really motivates our employees is that we're able to take the power that we get from the mapping of the human genome and translate it directly into expanded access for patients, reduced healthcare inefficiencies, and better outcome for patients. That's a combination that is very motivating for all of us. Management of cardiovascular patients has entered the era of personalized medicine, and we are very excited about the opportunities we'll have to improve patient care.